In 1988, white t-shirts with a single black stripe diagonally across them began to be sold in Italian markets. Why? I'll give you that again. In 1988, white t-shirts with a single black stripe diagonally across them began to be sold in Italian markets. Why? That's right, we are starting you off with a fashion question. Good luck. <laughs> well, I'll Perfect. tap out now. Uh... <laughs> Do you think it's sport related? It could be sport related, couldn't it? Because, you know, the Italians was... like their sport. Yeah, I was thinking it must be music or sport. Yeah, how long has football merchandising been around? Or... I mean, it was around then. I, I can't think of a team that just has a, a diagonal black stripe, though. The other thing that came into my head straight away were those street signs for closed roads with a diagonal black line. So I'm thinking either sport or street signs. Is that Are those street signs the same like all over Europe? Would that be the same in Italy as it would be where you are? Doesn't that mean the national speed limit? I was thinking that. That's Oh, is that what that means? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, Maybe that's not Europe. I mean, you are. Actually, mm. I'm not going to say you're close with that, Brady, but... It, <laughs> of the options of sport or road signs, you are definitely in the right area with road signs. Right. So maybe it's the what the black stripe means something in some context that is being reappropriated by people in 88, is my guess. There's some secondary meaning here that people are picking up, some established meaning that people are picking up and applying for fashion or for something like that. Are we thinking like ban or forbidden with a... With a, with a that was my thought, yeah. Yeah. Like a protest, a political statement of some kind, you know, something's not allowed here. I have a, I have an anecdote about the, the national speed limit when I was learning to drive and how I was driving with my mother, practicing, age 17. And um, she was just like, you really need to go faster. I was like, no, I'm going the national spi- speed limit. And she was like, what, what, what's that? Oh. So, oh. you know, that that was a moment. That was a moment where I realized I shouldn't be learning with my mother. Um, I mean, she's a, she's a she's very talented at many things, but driving, maybe not. Um, I'm wondering when when did that come in and when I don't know. I'm trying to think of how that would be so. You know, sweet. those uh, you know, when you, you know, when you come off at a junction in in the UK, I don't know if it's everywhere else in the UK. As you get closer to the junction, you have that sign that has three diagonal black bars and then two diagonal back black bars and then one diagonal mm-hmm. black bar. And I think oh. it doesn't mean 300 yards, 200 yards and one. I don't know. It means something like that. But I know, I know a woman who failed her driving test because she thought that meant – she thought that meant that was the gear the car was meant to be Ooh. in. So when she got she went to third gear, second gear, and first gear, she was just slowly <laughs> coming off the motorway. That was like, no, fail. <laughs> in America, the only thing we measure in yards is football fields. Other than that, you know, do not use that in the American highways. I've never seen that, but that's fascinating. I mean, you are, weirdly, somehow, dancing around the right answer to this very, very quickly. Um, Mary, it's, it's not about mm-hmm. speed limits, but there was a change in the law in 1988 in Italy uh, about driving. You are actually very close to that. Oh, was it a campaign to have the speed limit changed? Not quite. I mean, the direction of the strike was important. It was always from the driver's left shoulder down to their right. Seat. Oh, I think I yeah. got it. Yeah, well, I just... seat belts. <laughs> yes. Seat belts. You're wow. absolutely right. Who... I think you all got that at the same time on that last bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a whopper of a quote. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that, that was it. That's amazing. Okay, so, yeah. so they weren't... Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, they they weren't needed beforehand, or they just weren't used beforehand. And then, yeah, was it, was it like a was it European awareness basically well? saying make sure you're wearing? Or were people were, people were wearing them to church. There you go. So they weren't oh. they weren't getting caught. Oh, That's the last bit. Wow. They there goodness. you go. Ah, uh, so oh they yeah, God. so they could drive without a seatbelt <laughs> and look like they were wearing. You are a seatbelt. absolutely right. Does anyone? It was a two inch, uh, sort of fifty mil. Black line that just went from the left shoulder <laughs> all the way down. And yeah, it, it looks exactly like you're wearing a seatbelt until you look too close. What a I, stupid waste of money. Like, who cares? <laughs> just, just wear, wear a stupid seatbelt. <laughs> I've heard someone say that the best safety measure they could introduce on the roads rather than seatbelts would be a huge spike on the steering yes. wheel. Because if everyone was driving with a massive spike pointed at their oh chest, they would drive so carefully. <laughs> Pedestrians would be a lot safer. You wouldn't be going fast in a car like that. Which is fine as long as yeah, everyone has true. that spike. Yes. <laughs> 
This makes me think of like early in COVID when people started requiring masks everywhere. There were a bunch of folks, at least in the U.S., I don't know about, about everywhere else, but folks who spent some stupid amount of money on masks that were mesh. So they technically complied with like on an airplane, the requirement you have to wear a mask. And it's like, just buy a $2 cloth mask. Like, why is why are you wasting so much money on this stupid protest? It drives me nuts. <laughs> I mean, every single time there's a change in the law for, for driving for anything, there will be complaints about that. The first time a speed limit came in on British motorways, people just didn't see the point in it. There's old footage of, of people being interviewed. Well, I don't see why you can't go any speed you want. Any time there's a change in the law, you get people who don't want to. Have, and this was a relatively cheap approach compared to having seatbelts fitted to your car if it didn't have any. You realise if they introduced those spikes in Italy, people would go out and buy like ones that are made of like pillow or inflatable (laughs) ones so they could have them in their car and pretend they've got it there. So yes, in 1988, white t-shirts with a single black stripe were sold to try and get around the law on wearing a seatbelt. 